Hey guys, Happy New Year! I hope it's not too late, so Happy 2016! I hope you guys all had great New Year's Eve parties and just New Year's everything. Um, today, well, before I begin, I kind of changed my backdrop a little bit. I removed all my uh, makeup stuff to another room because we're in the midst of rearranging everything because the baby is due next month. This baby is coming out next month, so everything is just kind of all jumbled up, but I'll have to figure out uh, something to decorate this wall. But anyways, uh, this is a uh, round two of my huge Korean beauty uh, makeup haul video. Actually, it was um, the end of the year and then it's like the new year. So, so many brands are on sale. So, actually, I'm shopping more stuff. <laughs> So uh, in the very near future, you guys are gonna see another one of those like big uh, Korean beauty haul videos. So that is coming. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But today I'm covering um, Etude House, Skin Food, and Innisfree. It should be fun. So let's get started. First step is actually boring stuff, but definitely necessities that you need in your life. I got five bags. I'm currently using one bag, so it's another room. Five bags of these cotton pads. Um, actually, at Two House cotton pads are the ones that I like the most because I like my cotton pads to be round and kind of sort of thick, but not too thick. And at Two House cotton pads definitely um, have that perfect thickness that I really prefer. So I got a bunch of cotton pads. Next, I got this sheet mask. Uh, love the packaging. Everything from Etude House is just cute, adorable, and pink. So it's kind of hard to resist. Um, it's not for your entire face. It's a sheet mask. It's for your lower part of the face. Uh, it helps with the uh, elasticity and it prevents wrinkles and everything. So I got this one. Um, next, oh, I'm so, I'm kind of excited for this one. It doesn't do anything much, but I'm just dying for the, the packaging and the color. It's a loofah, and then on top of, on the top of the loofah, you have this small little, uh, face of kitty. Oh my gosh, it's totally something that I would expect from, like, Hello Kitty. It's, like, so cute. Look at it, like a pink loofah and, like, a little kitty face on it. Come on, let's just get real. It's adorable. So I got that. And then to match that, I got a comb. It's actually, uh, it can stand alone itself like this. And this one has a uh, little um, kitty face as well. It's like so princessy, so curly. I'm like... Yeah, I'm, I'm too old for that, but you know, let a girl have fun. So I got this, um, it's just a, a regular comb and then on the other side you get a mirror. So I think it'd be perfect for like travel and just perfect for like everything because you can comb your hair and then you're like, oh, I want to fix my makeup too and then just flip around and like do your makeup and everything. So I got that. Um, and then this is a uh, brand new uh, arrival from a Etude House. It's actually a uh, makeup remover specifically for your mascara and it's called Curl Fix Mascara Remover. So as you can see, hope you can see, there's like two parts. So in the bottom, you get like an oil, kind of like a lime colored oil and on top, you get water, I don't know. So you shake it up and then you uh, wet it on your cotton pad and just remove your eye makeup and your mascara. So yeah, just because it was a new arrival, I was very, uh, you know, intrigued to try. Um, also, I got another bottle, because I was out of it, of Moistful Collagen Facial Mist. This is by far my number one favorite fa face mist from Korean, um, from Korean Beauty. It's so amazing. I like it so much. I, I think I've told you guys many times that I am going to do my top five facial mist video, which I so have to do. And this definitely makes the cut for the top five because it's so awesome. It's, it just moisturizes your skin and then it just makes your highlighter glow like no other. It gets rid of all that, you know, powdery uh, look. It just, you know, it's an amazing thing. I actually put another order uh, because they have a bigger bottle. So I got that. 
Also, I just randomly picked up this brow eyebrow pencil and it seems like it's very much in trend and in style right now. Um, it's just a pencil, um, eyebrow pencil and then it's got that really like you know slim triangular shape so it's supposed to be really uh, good for your eyebrows. <laughs> um, if you guys are familiar with like Korean uh, makeup style, Korean makeup, like especially brows, is uh, mostly like straight and kind of thick. So I thought that this kind of pencil will help a lot um, to make that straight and thick eyebrows because I don't necessarily, you know, like that kind of look, but every once in a while, you know, I want to do that look too. So I just grabbed this one. Uh, by the way, it's in sh uh, shade number two. And lastly from a 2000 oh my gosh I'm so excited for this highlighter it's um face designing brightener in number glam face so it's nothing new they just repackaged their um, highlighters and uh, this is one highlighter that I've never used from a 2000 I was just you know browsing through at the store and just swatched it and I was like why do I not have this so it's very slim and compact. Um, I really like that. You get a mirror and then there's a highlighter and you guys, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I've never tried that Jaclyn Hill highlighter from Becca, but I assume, because I've seen so many pictures from Google, I assume it's very similar to this. I cannot be sure, but I just assume. Uh, it's so pretty, guys. Can you see? It's like peachish kind of gold and then it's like it's not it's like not too overpowering it's not too over the top yet it's got that beautiful glow that beautiful like highlighting beams to it it's so amazing I love it and for the price oh my gosh it's a steal because it was only like ten dollars or something so I'm definitely digging it moving on to skin food so here I got well I got another bag of cotton pads because this was very similar to uh, my favorite one from Etude House so I just wanted to compare these two so I got this one from Skin Food and then oh so I got two sheet masks and they are very interesting because this one is a seaweed mask sheet and this one is a oyster sheet mask very interesting oyster and seaweed on your face so let's see i'm kind of i don't know i'm kind of like ew oyster like oyster generally normally don't smell good they're kind of like you know they have that kind of seafoodish kind of smell to it so i don't know um anyways oh and then i got let's see not many things Ooh. all right so this is a brow mascara that I love, love, love from Skin Food. It's called Mineral Color Fix Brow Mascara in number three, Mineral Deep, Mineral Deep Brown. So I think this is by far the most amazing brow mascara from Korean drugstore. I've tried many, many brow mascaras from Korean drugstores, and this is by far the best for me. So I got another backup. Um, and then since they were on sale, I just grabbed this uh, Skin Food Fresh Celery Cleansing Tissue. So that's that. Oh, and then this, I have been eyeing on this for the longest time. Every single time Skin Food is on sale, I go to the store and I'm like, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? Should I? And then like, I just end up not getting it. And finally this time I got it. And this is a... Uh, Skin Food Peach Sake Silky Finisher Powder. I got this because I think it'd be a great dupe for Makeup Forever's HD um, The Loose Powder, The Loose like Finish Powder or something. I I'm very confident that this is going to be a very very good dupe for that HD finishing powder. So I have very high hopes for it. Uh, it's just a fraction of price of what HD powder offers and then 
it's got a lot of stuff I mean the container is pretty like high so uh, this is the powder it just makes your face so smooth and so silky so you can use it as a finishing powder at the very end of your makeup routine or uh, how I use it is um, I do all my like base makeup meaning like foundation and powder under eye, under eye concealer and everything uh, and then I do my eye makeup so before I do my eye makeup or sometimes after I uh, I'm done with my eye makeup I just you know dust it all around the face and then I go in with my uh, bronzers and highlighters and blushes oh my gosh it goes on so smooth this is going to make a cameo on a lot of my upcoming tutorials and uh, that's it from skin food so now these are all the things I got from and it's free actually not that many things but um let's see wow so I got how many things how many like this many <laughs> of uh, their <coughs> I'm joking apple juicy cleansing tissue it's not just a regular cleansing tissue it's for your um, lip and eye makeup removing cleansing tissue if you're looking for a really really good performing cleansing tissue that'll just take away all your eye makeup all your lipsticks and everything you guys try this this is this comes in only this small size and this is the bomb yes I highly highly recommend it um, their regular cleansing tissues are okay but they're like uh, lip and eye makeup removing tissue this one is just it's just amazeballs it's so awesome um, and then ooh, and then I got a um, cushion primer it's a primer because I'm very into primers uh, lately so it's very moisturizing. I haven't used it. I only tested it at the store and it was very moisturizing and I felt like it's like oil free. So uh, if you have oily skin then definitely give it a try because it's not like you know slimy or thick or sticky. It's very like you know fresh feeling and it just you know just primes your face. So. <laughs> and then I got this bar soap called Green Tea Cleansing Bar. I didn't get it to use it on my face. I got it uh, to use it as a uh, cleansing soap for my beauty blender and my makeup brushes. So we'll see. Oh, and then I got a eyeshadow. It's just a single eyeshadow in number four. And um, I got it not to use it as an eyeshadow but to use it as a bronzer and like contouring powder because it's a matte finish and as you can see the shade is pretty nice like it'd be perfect for bronzing and like um, contouring so I was very very interested to try it as a uh, contouring powder and lastly that's the last thing this is the last thing oh and lastly, I got a bunch of wood sticks. I don't use them to do my nails. I actually use them as um, a um, eyelash curler. So I heat them up with a lighter and then lift my lashes up and it works fantastic. It's actually way better than like the heating um, eyelash curler machine. It's so much better. So. Those are everything that I got. I thought I got a lot of stuff, but actually not that many. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I have so many awesome video ideas floating around in my head and those are all going to be filmed in the very near future. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to see the information box down below to see all the links and names of the products that I've shown you guys in this video. If you want to have more fun with me, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Snapchat, which are all Makeup by Dami. You guys have a nice, fabulous day, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!